there, welcome back guys! In this video we're going to be printing the Articulated Dragon, but not just printing it, also showing you the settings so that you can get the best optical performance when fidgeting or playing with it. And this is it right here, in multicolor. Um, so if you want to print this with the multicolor filament and want the settings that I use to get this, check it out. The moving parts just prints that way, which is just phenomenal. And of course, multicolor according to how it is and you know how you how you hold it in the light how, how it just reflects which is really cool gotta love this thing and it's new home will be probably right there but in order for you to get yours we're going to show you the settings so without any further ado come let's get started we're going to open up cura the ultimaker and then we're using the latest version which is 5.7.0 and this is our build plate experience. You can use your arrow keys to go down or go up so you can see the experience that you'll have when uh, customizing the layout. Uh, for me, I'm gonna go to file. You'll see a link to the uh, Dragon in your descriptions. So if you wanna open it, it's the Dragon V2 MMU. So after you download it, it'll open. Now, most likely you could print it like this, but if you're familiar with your build plate, um, actually, let's activate for you guys the cursor so that we can see what's happening and follow along in real time. All right, so right here, you see that? I, I don't think it's going to print there. So we got to move it because as you know, um, it, it, it prints a line to sort of uh, um, create a better printing experience so that the filament nozzle is sort of clean and that line's not going to happen with this all the way over there. Uh, why I did that, I don't know, but that's fine. We can just go here. Uh, you, you select the dragon, see that? And you see here, here, move. You want to be in move because if you're there, it'll be scale. So make sure at the top one, move. And just take the red arrow, see that right here? Just follow it and drag it to the side. But as you can see, it's not going to work because then you have your whiskers or thingies over there. So we're going to go undo. So what you do is you do a command all, which is select all, right? But if you don't, um, know the command all button. So you just go here, you go to file, right? And right next to file, you go to edit, see? And then you see select all models right there. So that's if you, you know, you're not familiar with the hotkeys. And now when you move it, everything will move. So even though over here, follow this, it says right there and the three S one pro, right? Ideally, this is the build plate, but sometimes when you bring in your, um, your, your 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 3d print it's not always going to lay it out where where you think it is so always take that into consideration and move things so that you have room for that line right and then room for this uh, little skirt that goes around it a little you know it's like it prints this little uh, perimeter to to get the nozzle ready so maybe i'll move it back a little bit like that and now i believe it's ready to slice but you want the settings. So these are the settings that I chose for um, for my dragon. Um, so you could go here. For me, it'll be shown custom. So I'm just gonna share with you. See, if I go all the way down, art, dra art stands for the articulated dra dragon settings, right? And I also have settings for my dummy 13, uh, some videos there. So now I'm just going to scroll down, okay? So you see my walls, 1.2, you can type that in. Wall line count is three. Have that checked. Optimize wall printing order. Um, as for here, top to bottom, 1.4, 1.4. We put five, right? We put 1.4 there. Five. Some of these figures might already be in there, uh, but depending on your, um, to get the optimal and same print I did, um, just download Cura. Okay. Five, 0 0.8. And then we have 20 for the infill, right? And then 6.0 for the line distance, cubic, okay, the pattern, 130, 0 0.3. Remember, we're doing infill right now, okay? I just can follow along. You can, um, I wonder if I could, let me see. Hmm, no, I was going to say, like, throw it up in GitHub, then you can just download it and upload it, but like, apparently not. Okay, so now we're, remember, this was infill, just follow along. Feel free to pause the video and copy the settings. Um, and now we're going to material. Uh, printing temperature is 200. Sometimes I used to, in the beginning, I used to do 205, but remember everyone's bed is different. As you can see, 
Uh, I have a streamline of many videos printing with these settings and some of you might look at this and say, what? Well, you know, again, this is what works for me, okay? Um, and as you can see, the build page temperature, sometimes I, by default, it would be 35, right? But in this case, it's 60, 60. And you know, when your settings might be there, the speed, here we go for the speed, just pause it. I'm not going to read it all. I'll just pause it. Cause you know, not everyone will have these settings. And then we're going to scroll down. Remember you can pause, I'll count to five, one, oh, this is travel. One, two, three, four, five. The five seconds should be like enough time for you to pause it. Cooling, that's by default, that's there. Okay. Support, we have just a little skirt, right? That just goes all the way around, as you saw. And that's it. That's all I got for you. Um, so, I wonder what does this do? Oh, I guess that's just, this does that. I thought maybe it was like download or save the settings. So that's it. That's all I got for you on the articulated dragon. And let me just make sure, um, see these right here. If I hit that right there, quality, see, there we go. Now you have layer height, just follow along one and I'll stop at, at the top at line width. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll bring, whoops, I'll bring this up all the way into line width. Okay. And now I'm just going to make sure all these arrows are down in case somebody's like, Hey, they didn't show all the settings. Yep. There's there. And there's there. There's there. There's there. And that's down too for speed. And that's down there for travel. And I believe one more cooling support. See if I closed it, it would disappear. And down here for build plate adhesion. See down there, and that's it. Don't worry about those because I'm not messing with those. All right, so now we're just going to go to export or export slice. This one takes a little bit of time, and once it finishes, you know, you will export it and send it to the printer and see what we get. It's amazing how this prints, though. This is just ah, 11 hours. Okay, so in 11 hours, this will be finished. We're going to save it to disk, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it just take away the see um this prefix right there uh, won't let me so we'll just do that and then save it to the desktop and now we're going to send it to the printer so i'll see you guys in a bit Okay, let's have a look at the printer and see how our 3D printed articulated dragon worked out. Look at that, right? Love it. And look at how the colors in different directions, like has, when you turn it that way, it's bluish. When you look this way, it's greenish. Now, don't get me wrong, gray uh, or yellow, whatever color you decide to print it with will work. Um, but when you print with the multicolor filament, right? It just works really well and doesn't need to be painted. You can actually, and if all goes well, when you leave your prints on the board, um, you see me in some videos, if I use my scraper, um, it's because I never wait. If you wait, you I've only used this thing probably um, four to five times max. Um, one day I just went to bed, woke up, and my prints, if all goes well, actually just did that. They just came off the board like, you know, as easy as one, two, three, <laughs> kind of neat, huh? Um, and I was amazed by that. I was like, oh my God, no more scraping. And that's why, you know, my board looks really nice. It's in perfect condition. Um, and and um, yeah, this is it. So now what we, what we have to do next to complete this project is actually um, glue these, uh, I guess they're called whiskers on. And you know, what I like to do is I like to just remove everything from the board um, so that it's always ready to print again. See, look at that, nothing stuck, it just prints really well. These make great gifts um, for birthday presents, holidays, or even um, for me, this is for me, you know, I, I wanna have one. I, I printed one for my daughter and she loves it. And I was like, I printed one for my nephew and he loves it. And I was like, what about me? And what about me? <laughs> and so now let's just uh, 
glue these oh, look at oh look at how it reflects there it's really nice this is uh amazing you know maybe if you have a desk you can keep it on your desk for me you'll probably see him in all of my videos moving forward because i will probably um just leave him there you know of course out of the way of the um wires be careful not to drop them or her whatever you want to call it be careful not to drop the dragon because you will um yeah maybe ruin it it's hard to say um yeah and that's it right here but let's um let's glue these um whisker okay so here we go we have our super glue um the loctite i think they also make um the uh, stuff you use for your bolts dry lock uh, which i have laying around here somewhere um as for how this goes on it's you know it's preference i kind of like to leave um you know room for error but i believe you see look they go right into the nose or you can just look at the dragon that you printed previously to this one right and they go right on the side of the nose not in the front of the nose but on the side of the nose see that see whoops and maybe the long part this way right what i found that is what you can do if it doesn't fit you could just use an exacto blade right and just shave the tips a little bit or maybe scale it down just this part right here not the dragon right but it's whisker down maybe 90 something percent i would say maybe if this is 100 right maybe 98 could do the trick um you have to decide but at the end of the day this isn't going to take very long to print just you know the whiskers alone um so once we get um this shaved off a little bit not a lot just a little just enough to um you know create an experience where they will go right in i've printed four of these and this is the first time i've actually had to do this with this um and that happens you know every now and again you get some prints that just aren't as fluid as the previous one but this looks like maybe one more shave will um do the trick or a few more maybe two more see i think i'm getting it and you you know you have to look at the angle of the nose too right and thankfully of all the parts that need to go in the dragon prints beautifully right and just the part with the um nostril oh yeah definitely ah you heard that that means it went right in perfectly so you want to hear that sound i don't want his eye covered um you could do it with the other one you know just do that as you can see this one is pretty much in there this one didn't need to be glued that one is glued so we have glue holding one in and look at that kind of neat huh gotta love it and then you just look at him like that vicious but it looks subtle at the same time or 3d printed dragon or articulated yeah it's pretty even see that i mean yeah just to make them and thankfully um one is not glued so you could always adjust the other one but you know if he's a dragon and he's moving and then, you know you wanna yeah that looks much better voila um you could see, i haven't tried scaling him down though kind of neat huh how you get that effect kind of reminds me of the Zoltar. It changes colors right before your very eyes. Um, and, you know, you, you can do that with... I'm just checking out. We're printing the Eiffel Tower. Um, that'll be another video. And, um, you know, you decide which filament you want to use. I chose blue because, as you can see, everything I have is in blue. You might like red. You might like pink. You might... The pink is a new thing. I see a lot of guys that are cycling use pink. Anyway, um, check it out. You know, you can see it from here on this end because I know that we were looking at it from the downside, right? But look, look at that. I'll give you guys a real close up so you can see his face close up and so that you can see all, oh, look at how it just moves. I love, you know, if you've been following me since I started 3D printing, I just love prints that print like this and to go go defunct, uh, whoops, defunct on you. Um, and then, you know, not print. That's why 
I was looking over there at the Eiffel Tower because I'm worried it might turn into the Tower of Pizza. Pizza. Um, but so far, eh, I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. If you want to have a look, I'll show you guys in a second. Um, but yeah, that's it. That is how you... Because I, um, I started printing the Eiffel Tower. And as you can see, it looks like one did it there. And two did fair, sort of like, because it has to print the arches at an angle. And then uh, it's hard to tell. Some STL files can't be scaled down. So knowing that and moving forward, um, you know, it's trial and error with some. But with this, there is no trial and error. I haven't scaled this down yet. There's that sump pump again. Um, yeah, so, you know, but I might in the future. But in the meantime, this is a really good size for the articulated dragon, even though it doesn't talk much for an articulated print. Um, that's it. That's going to be his new home. You'll see him in the video. You'll be like, oh, I remember that video. You'll see him in the video. You're like, oh, I remember that video. You've seen that in the video since many months now. It's coming. I just have to edit it. And um, that's it. Oh, and you, well, We'll, we'll save that for later. But we still have more of these videos coming. This is for the drone. Um, some parts for the one that's being built. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. Or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Yeah.